It's been more than three years since inmate John Chamberlain was murdered inside Theo Lacey Jail. The October 2006 killing and a scathing grand jury report put pressure on the Sheriff's Department to make changes. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Vicki Gonzalez. Reporter Jennifer Bauman says Garden Grove Channel 3 was given unprecedented access to show the security upgrades made since then. Return with Honor is now stenciled over the entrance of the barracks where inmate John Chamberlain was beaten to death by fellow inmates in October of 2006. The officer's code of ethics has also been posted next to the double locking security doors. Clear. Clear. Jail deputy job responsibilities are being re-emphasized following a scathing report by the Orange County Grand Jury that showed Chamberlain was kicked, beaten and sodomized with foreign objects for at least 20 minutes while deputies sat in their guard station. At the time of Chamberlain's murder, privacy walls partially blocked deputies' view of the F barracks and a dividing wall created a blind spot. The privacy walls have been removed from the barracks and new technology has been added to improve inmate safety. Dozens of digital cameras have been installed to help eliminate blind spots and give guards the ability to zoom in on trouble zones. When something does happen, uh, we're able to review the video to see exactly what happened and who um, assaulted who, actually um, what happened. Instead of just seeing a, a bits and pieces, um, it helps us to see the whole piece. The cameras also document the inside of the guard station, so here you can see me taking a picture of one. Under new policies and procedures, an inmate like Chamberlain would never be placed in one of the large barracks with more than 100 other detainees. Those with lower level sex offenses, such as child porn possession, are now put in special modules with two-man cells. All inmates are issued colored wristbands tied to their offense and criminal history. Officials admit the bans don't wipe out the prison-based inmate hierarchy where so-called shot callers can order hits. That does exist, but what we don't want to do is we don't want to empower that. So things like disciplinary action uh, that's taken by the staff. Inmates who feel they're being threatened by other inmates or victimized by jail deputies can fill out a grievance form or contact the new Office of Independent Review. New civilian employees called correctional services assistants have been added to help deputies handle paperwork and provide cover for the guard stations. My job helps with the deputy because it gives them more opportunity to go on the floor, um, more opportunity to look around and make sure we have no problems going on. Unfortunately, new security improvements can't blot out the scandal surrounding Chamberlain's murder. One's too many, of course, but uh, you know, it's the deputies are um, which would just go away and they, you know, continue doing their job. This is Jennifer Ballman reporting. Nine inmates have been charged with Chamberlain's murder. The trial is scheduled for early October. All inmates have pled not guilty.